Know what, it is about time for a freshly baked Norton vs. Bitdefender 2023 comparison. I mean, quite a few things have changed since the last time we compared these two guys. So today, why don't we find out which best antivirus candidate might be the easiest to use, who provides the best security, and who has the better features. Hey, I'm Mike from Cyber News, and I have just one quick side note before we get into our review. Whichever provider you end up going with, well, I went and left the newest and best discount deals in the description and in the comments below. So feel free to use those. I mean, I did get them just for you. Okay, first category, ease of use. Long gone are the days of clunky and confusing antivirus apps, but some still handle it better than others. And in this case, I gotta say that Bitdefender is a little bit better. The app is modern, clean and intuitive, even complete beginners shouldn't get lost. The only version of Bitdefender that I have any beef with is their iOS app, since besides scanning, it really only adds browsing protection, a limited VPN, and a data breach scanner. Now, Norton's iOS app isn't the greatest either, but at least it contains a few more features. When it comes to desktop apps, well, I like that I can access all the main features right from the welcome screen. However, a slight issue here is that some features like parental controls or dark web monitoring open in a separate window. You know, a new tab for every function is not the end of the world, but <laughs> not gonna lie, it gets a little bit annoying, right? Oh, by the way, while I was snooping around on Reddit, I found that some users are also annoyed with Norton's promotional pop-ups and emails, but I did find a toggle to turn this stuff off, but I get how the default setting feels a little forced. But hey, we are talking Norton here, right? I mean, they have a toggle for everything, haha. <laughs> but I think we can forgive the interface quirks when we see proper malware protection, right? So I put Norton Antivirus and Bitdefender to the test. Now, if you're new here, this is how the whole thing works. I put 10 malicious files into a folder on my PC and then run a full scan with real-time protection turned off. So how does Norton 360 versus Bitdefender compare? Well, with the initial scan, Norton caught eight out of 10 malicious files. Scan took around 10 minutes, but one thing I did notice, Norton wasn't very light on my CPU. So you might wanna leave your PC alone while it's doing its scanning thing. Now, Bitdefender took around 17 minutes to do the full scan, leaving only one malicious file behind. It was lighter on my CPU as well, so you can keep Bitdefender running in the background as you continue on with your PC activities. Now, these aren't perfect scores. So what makes Norton and Bitdefender worthy of competing for the best antivirus title? Well, if you keep real-time protection on and perhaps do an additional scan, well then these antiviruses will likely catch everything that's left over. At least that's what I see in independent testing scores when looking at both new and widespread malware detection. Both Norton 360 and Bitdefender Antivirus got perfect scores here and were declared as one of the best antivirus for Windows 10 as well as the best antivirus for Windows 11. Now, in addition to malware test results, something I always look at when searching for the best antivirus for PC or any other OS are what other features I can get and if those features are actually useful. For this antivirus comparison, quite a few things match up because both options have all of the essentials, especially with real-time protection, which can catch malware in real time so you won't need to run full scans all that often. These two best antivirus 2023 candidates also have a firewall to monitor traffic. While both do the job of filtering out potential threats, I'd say that Norton's version is actually a better fit for you advanced users, since you can set everything up exactly how you like it and be in full control of your device's security. For this Bitdefender versus Norton 2023 review, I'd also like to point out that both tools offer some kind of protection from ransomware, which is great since ransomware is running rampant these days. With Bitdefender, I was able to back up my more important files via the ransomware mitigation tool. While Norton offers safe storage with its cloud backup, just you're gonna need to keep in mind that the cheapest plan only gets you two gigabytes. Ugh. But I will say that Bitdefender also has an edge in a different area with some of the more unique stuff. See, there's a file shredder to safely and permanently destroy any files with sensitive info. And I like that profiles feature, which makes the antivirus adapt to my different activities. I really only use the movie profile since it eliminates any unnecessary interruptions while I'm watching. 
but I'd also say that the battery mode is useful if you find your PC running out of juice. Now, it's a little obvious that these days antiviruses are trying to sway users by offering full cybersecurity bundles. I get it, and these two are no different. You're gonna get a VPN with most plans, minus the cheapest one from Norton. However, Bitdefender puts a 200 megabyte per day limit on theirs, so one browsing session and you're out of data. Wah, wah, wah. So I would say if you truly need a VPN, perhaps an antivirus is not gonna be the best place to go get a good one. However, if you subscribe to our channel, you're gonna find reviews on all kinds of cybersecurity tools, just saying. All right, on the topic of different tools, Bitdefender versus Norton 360 also compete with their password managers. Again, personally, I think these are okay. I mean, they're good for your basic daily use. Just keep in mind that only the most expensive Bitdefender plans include it, while Norton offers theirs with their cheapest plan. However, not that long ago, Norton's password manager accounts were breached in a credential stuffing attack. This means that threat actors obtained data from another source and targeted users who reuse the same passwords. So whatever password manager you get, including Norton, make sure your passwords are unique and strong. Oh, and you might wanna add that two-factor authentication for good measure. Now, since I've already mentioned some differences between the different plans, why don't we talk pricing? All right, first, there's the infamous Bitdefender free version. Yep, it's there, it's back, and it's good for beginners, but it is very basic. You can really only use it on one device and you won't have access to any additional tools. Norton has no free version, just a free trial, but their cheapest plan also protects one device. So I'd say either go with the standard plan with a lot more features on three devices or jump straight to Norton Deluxe to extend protection to five devices. Overall, I'd actually say Bitdefender's a bit more generous here, but I don't like the fact that their cheapest plan is only for Windows. So I'd actually recommend the Bitdefender Total Security Plan. It isn't that much pricier and it covers all the necessary tools from performance optimization to a VPN. And when you compare that to the Norton Deluxe Antivirus Plan, the price is lower as well, while the value is still similar. Plus, if you use the deal in the description, well, you can shave off a few dollars more. All right, so what's the final verdict here? Is Norton the best antivirus or is it Bitdefender? Well, I hate to break it to you, but depends. If you want a super easy to use antivirus with great malware detection, I'd say go with Bitdefender. If you're a little more advanced and need lots of customizable features, then go with Norton. But let me know which one you pick in the comments or check out this next video because I am absolutely positive you're going to like it. Come on, click it, do it, press it. I dare you. <laughs> oh, I'll see you there. Yep, in the next video.